Honda CBR 125RW9 for sale on eBay. In the paperwork it has an HPI check certificate that shows it's all completely clear, nothing in the bike's history to be concerned about. It's got the service book where it actually shows a full service history. That is assuming that the um, speeder is working at the moment, which I kind of would... Well, I haven't tested it, so I don't know for sure. But Anyway, it shows the last service done here somewhere. Just hang on a second while I try and find this thing. It is in here because I've seen it. That's the first service done in 09 at 72 miles. Um, the last one shown is done at 1700 miles in 2010. Although that was four years ago, the 1700 miles, it has only got 7,000 right now, so that is effectively a full service history. So there's that. Owner's manual. There's also a load of other paperwork which has come with it over the years. Irrelevant kind of stuff, really. So looking around the bike, um, you can see that there are dents in the tank, like here and here. The front brake lever is bent. Um, this front right indicator is a non-Honda indicator, and it's got a loose. The belly pan has got a crack in it there, and it's kind of loose. Um, there's a close-up of similar damage on there. And that's where the crack is on the belly pan, so it's come away down there. It's been hanging around a bit, and that's why you see this cobwebs and leaves and things stuck to it. And the rear tyre is bald. That is the rear left indicator mounting. You can see that's not what it should be. Grab rail is scuffed. The seat lock is either broken or... Um, seized one or the other it doesn't operate but if the seat actually is not pushed down tight so you can still access under the seat there at the moment and that is the rear left of luggage hook you can see that's been bent back and the fairing here is scuffed two on the side you can also see there that the um, gear lever is slightly bent see the clutch lever here the end of it is missing and the clutch um, cable itself feels very stiff you can see there's a bit of rust on these top suspension bolts and the inner fairing has been cable tied to the outer fairing which has been scuffed and knocked. Um, there's another view of it there. Oh, the front, um, the right handlebar is slightly bent. Um, there probably are other things. Oh, there's no mirrors on the bike either. There probably are other things on the bike which I haven't mentioned which could do with sorting out. But the bike actually starts up and runs and sounds as sweet as it could do. And I've run it through the gears on roll. It all seems to be there okay. Um, you wouldn't have to do a lot to it to get it back on the road to use it again. But to make it into a nice bike again would take a fair bit of um, getting at. But anyway, if you've got any questions, uh, just ask. I'll tell you what I know about it.